Modal Options Import and Export This Modal Options walkthrough has been awesome so far, and we are about to show you the last part of it by taking a quick look at the final section featured in the Modal Options tab. So let's get it going by navigating to the Modal Options tab, either on the left side menu or in the top menu bar on your WordPress dashboard. In this section, you will find the Import Options and the Export Options, just as the name implies. Here, is where you will be able to edit import and export settings for your Moto theme site. Import options will allow you to set up how to import content and data values for your sites. And export options will allow you to set up how to export content and data values for your Moto theme managed WordPress sites. Let's start on the import options section. Here, you will have two import setup options, import from file and import from URL. To import from a file, click on import from file and enter the script code of the file that you're going to import content from in the field that opens up and click on import. Importing data from files is useful when you need to import backup data in case of unexpected troubleshooting and other similar situations. To import from a URL, simply click on import from URL and enter the URL from where you are going to import content for your Moto theme site and click on import. Importing data from a URL is useful for when you want to save time on customization or for emergency troubleshooting as well. Remember that importing data will overwrite all your existing values, so prepare in advance for any possible reconfigurations you may need to make. Let's now check the functions available in the Export Options section. The Export Options will allow you to export your site's current data and configurations so you can use them on new sites to save time, or to simply have backup files ready in case that disaster strikes. You can use the Copy Data button to copy and save backup data in the form of a JavaScript. Or you can use the Download Data File button to download a backup data file to your computer in the form of a JavaScript object notation file. Lastly, you can use the Copy Export URL button to get a backup data URL that you can use to export backup data from this URL. Do not forget to save any changes made in this section by clicking on the Save Changes button. And that's it! Remember to keep updated backup data at hand by using the import options and export options each time that you make significant changes on your site so you do not have to run into any time-consuming problems in case of unexpected loss or corruption of data on any of your sites or in case that you would like to save time configuring new sites.